Welcome to Delaware Studios. I would like to introduce you guys to an Android annotation library called Botanize, which is designed to take away tiring aspects of data binding and getting layout ID, such as find view by ID. Uh, Botanize is a lightweight library to inject views into Android components. It uses annotation processing, the bind view annotation, which allows to inject views and performs the CACs to the correct type for you. It also uh, handles the onclick, whereby you call the uh, ID annotation, which allows to add onclick listener to a view. You can optional define the method parameter of the view in case you want it injected. Uh, I'll actually be explaining to you in details uh, the, this wonderful library, which actually takes out uh, some little uh, cumbersome aspect of programming in Android. And I will be explaining in details using an application which uh, I, I have right there on the screen. Uh, this is just a basic uh, recycler view and card view layout which actually populates the data which is uh, a static data I'm not calling from the cloud. So just make it simple. But I want you to look at how to uh, integrate button knife to take away the aspect of uh, find view by ID, you know, when you're declaring a field and so on, even uh, the view order, the button knife will create the view order for you, which is actually going to be helpful with the recycler adapter. So right there, I uh, will be integrating the first dependency, which is uh, the Jake Walton button knife library. So I'll actually include compile. So just come dirt Jake. Watson Port Knife 8.1.0. So this library is very very pertinent. Uh, afterwards you need to sync Gradu to have that uh, compiled. That's fine. Uh, I have the rest which is layout files. I'll actually run you through on how uh, the layout files are because I'll be focusing majorly on the Java classes. The activity main, if you notice, is just integrating a recycler view into a layout. You know, you should be familiar with this when you have the about layout, the toolbar, and you include a content main, which is the recycler view, because if you should notice from the preview, you have the recycler item and also the floating action button from the support design widget. Now let's look at the content main, which is just a recycler view, no, nothing uh, much there. And the real layout will be the card view. And uh, in the card view, we have an image and a text. You know, that's just the basic of this application. Most times, this image is actually called from uh, probably a data source or something, but I have this PNG file right inside the folder called drawable. So that's fine. That's just how the layout is. I'll be going straight to the Java classes. We have the main activity. I'm going to have the uh, model, which is data, and uh, the recycler view adapter, and also its view order. So I'll show you how Button Knife can actually make some things easy for you. By the in main activity, uh, whereby we have the activity main. So I'm actually going to start this way. Uh, declaring fields now is going to be much easier. Let's see how we declare our first field using the button knife. Now we need to call the floating action button. We have to specify at bind view right there. So once you have that, call the ID straight away. FAB. Sorry, let me say dot. That's for the floating action body. We are trying to uh, initialize here. So we get to have with a floating action button or floating action button FAB. So we are binding that view to the element and uh, this should not end with a colon. 
So let's have for the on click listener on the floating action button instead of typing public void on click, you know, overriding the super on click. Just go through it this way annotation on click, calling the button knife. R ID and get FAB. So you set an on click to, to, to that just so easy. Now you call the public void snack bar notification. So we're going to pass a view. Import that. Just to call on snack bar. Just like the way you make your toast. Call the make view. And just say um, button knife passing a toast. Annotations are great. Another parameter is going to be the snack the length, which is the toast length, or how long will it show? Is it short or long? Just it's just a replica. Let's have the long. And we're gonna set the action. As action and not before we get to show the snack bar. That's fine, that's for the floating action button. So let's initialize the recycler view. Quite easy. You just call the at bind view. Just call the ID of the recycler view, which is from the content main. Or recycler view and see that instead of calling find view by ID that's quite long and sometimes not easy to manage so now you created an object from the recycler view just this way simple straightforward and short as have let's close up the space now I added the button I bind must add this, you know, it's just like instantiating the activity with the button knife. So once you have this right there in the on create method, now we set the content view to the layout activity main. Now let's instantiate the toolbar. Cast the toolbar. Find view by ID. We can still use that. ID, which is two bar. So it's not that you won't use find view by ID completely in your application, but you just need to reduce the usage. You know, probably when you want to set uh, values to uh, uh, an adapter, which is uh, you're getting details from the cloud, you know, you need to do a lot of sets and get, you know, find the view by ID. With, in that kind of lengthy uh, situation, you just introduce the button knife annotation to take care of that. So let's just continue with our application. Now we're going to set support action bar to bar. Get to look at that more while we're talking about view that. So let's set up the recycler view. Let's set up the data of the recycler view. This is actually going to be uh, coded. We just set it up using the list and we use a for loop to iterate through. Now we still need a data class, which we'll be creating immediately after this. Not the, the provider now, we'll have to create that class separately. And we instantiate with a new array. Array is just the way you instantiate uh, data from an API or something. It's just the same way. But now we will be passing in a data instead of us calling JSON.
Now follow the counter integer i equals to zero. Now if i is less than fifteen, so it add one to to i. Now we're going to generate 15 data elements. Now let's call the data to add. Let's instantiate the new data. Now we just give it the value. Let's call it our party knife. Patients, and uh, we append the drawable which you saw earlier. Drawable, which we tell our studios. It's fine. Let's close that appropriately. That's the values that will be passing into the recycler view. Let's call the recycler view adapter. Cycler adapter, which is equals. This is a class or an adapt class which will be creating new. Cycler view adapter as data get application context or get application of the set. Now we call the recycler view object created over there to set adapter. Pass adapter as a parameter. Just to call the recycler view to set the kind of layout we need, which will just be a linear layout. Set layout manager, instantiate the new linear layout manager to this class. That's fine. So from here, uh, I will quickly create those classes before we get to have our menu. Uh, ID or such. Let me just create them down. We'll need the Java class for data. We'll need for the recycler view adapter. And also for the view there, I'll be generating the bot knife uh, dynamically for the view there. That's fine. So let's finish up by having our own create option menu and the other aspect. Could I just, uh, just, I'll just, let me just have it done manually. It's not too long. Public boolean create options menu Close menu menu. Now you get to inflate. Just import this. Get menu inflator. Inflate menu, the name of the menu. That's a menu, that's fine. You need to return the value. True. That's for the menu at the toolbar. Now we need to have the Right. The 
options. I am selected. Menu item. This time we're going to have our ID which will be equals to item get ID get item ID now we need to specify if the ID equals to the action setting which is at the menu Done true, and also we don't super on options item selected past the item as parameter. That's for the menu. We'll get straight to the data. Let's have the structure of the data. Publica class data of the public string title public int image ID that it data constructor which has to parameter a string title. Image ID this let's cast it on title just title what this image ID equals to image ID cool let's head straight to the view order, no, the recycler view adapter before the view order. We need an adapter uh, before we get to have our view order. So let me just walk you through how the adapter is going to look like. Uh, this recycler view adapter, which extends, because we deal with recycler view. Recycler view adapter. Now we call the view. View holder. Order. Right there from the data studios. It's fine. That's that. Back to the view order. We have to create a view order. Let's create that. And I will be showing you know, how to dynamically create a view order. You know, right there. So just let's move on. This should extends recycler view view order. Now let's start at bind view. We are now we're calling the ID of the card view. Card view. Can you see that? Which we are casting down to the card view. Support version 7 widget called CV. I just give it an object name. Let's bind another view. This time a text view. Which will be cast to the text view. Title and the third one will be for the image view called ID image view image view the objects pretty easy. Now we call our view order.
passing the view with the item view. Import this. Call the super class. Pass the item view as parameter. Super class of the view there. And we we'll bind them up with button knife. We need to call the bind function to that this class with the item so bind it to the view now we have our viewer that set we can easily move back to the recycler view adapter and continue with the structure to set those values to the recycler details list data Of list equals collections from the Java utilities and we call empty list. We also have context. context. Now let's have a public recycler. Call the recycler view adapter. Pass in list. Data. And also the context as the two parameters needed. Let's initialize them list goes to list or the other one context and context goes to context let's get to override the view order public view order or the on create Order. If I pass the view group, appearance, and the view type. Let's get to import the view group. Now we're going to reflect the layout and initialize the view order. Let's have the view, the equals to layout inflator. That's when we call the card view because we need to pass data to the card view. Parent, so get context, inflate, layout, row layout, that's the card layout. Parent to be false. Let's call the view. Still need to import the view. The view order of the order. Let's initiate the new view order and pass the v object of the view as parameter. Import this. And we need to return order. Now let's bind data. We need our bind. Void on bind view order. Uh, we have the view order as parameter with the position of each item. Now we're going to use the provider view order on the onCreate view order method to populate the current rule on the recycler view. That's just what that's going to do. So we call the order dirt by two. 
that. Set text. So we need to create an object here. Set text. Inside the text, we're going to have a list to get position. Type. Now let's undo the image view. Image view. Now we're going to set image resource list that gets position image ID perfect. Now we need our item count because. Without an item count, you can't have this error gone. You know, it's either you declare the class as abstract or you get the item count. You know, you write the, the get item count. It's actually going to get the uh, the numbers of items, you know, in each row. That's just what I was doing. Write public integer. Get item count just return the size of the list size that's cool you can see that the error is gone now we need to override one more method this is public Void on attached to recycler view. Now we pass recycler view. Recycler view. Perfect. We call the super. Class on attached to recycler view. Class recycler view. That's that for the view order and for the recycler view adapter. And uh, what do we have on the main activity? We have that uh, set this returns true with this colon to finish up. So that's just what uh, Button Knife can help you with uh, with annotations, the bind view, uh, even in your click method you know you bind the fields with its appropriate uh, id when you're initializing initializing will be easy just like the way we are called the id of the recycler view and we bind it to the class recycler and creates an object from it uh immediately so find by, by id has been reduced in your code you know you just bind each view to each appropriate id so that's just uh the introduction to Button knife, and uh, even when we talk about the view order, can you say how we our view order is short and simple? Uh, we call the card view, you know, we bind it together. Also, the text view, the image view, you know, from the layout files, you can easily take out each snippet uh, and bind them to your Java code, you know, without the act of repeating find view by ID, view by view to find each ID, you know, sometimes it's always lengthy and you would have actually initialized that right there at the field and just call it in your code using the button knife bind, you know, can you see this? So just this is just how to uh, go about button knife. You can incorporate it to your code. It's like to actually show uh, the professional aspect of you when it comes to uh, management of uh, the, the, the different snippets in your code. So I will employ you as an Android developer to integrate button knife annotation into your code. It's going to actually make life easier for you. And I will actually be showing this uh, application in uh, an emulator so that you'll be able to see uh, what the recycler view and how it actually look like. So thank you very much. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
application property knife annotations is just uh, an ad coded uh, values you know, about created up to 30 or so items you know, with uh, appropriate image as well so that's just how to integrate butter knife into your application when you're creating a recycler layout when you're buying the views you know, getting rid of find view, view by id which constantly show up in uh, your source code you know it makes your code neat and also uh, good to read thank you guys uh, catch me up in the next tutorial please subscribe to my channel have a blessed time